Boa noite a todos e a todas. Uh, guten Abend und herzlich willkommen hier im Kino des DFFs zu der uh, Vorpremiere von Querencia von Euversio Marin Jr. Ich freue mich sehr, dass der Regisseur hier ist. Um, ist das okay, wenn wir weiter auf Englisch sprechen oder ist uh, für jemanden das ein Problem? Wenn, können wir auch. In Portugiesisch também podemos falar. Um, <lacht> Für die, die kein Portugiesisch, okay. Ähm, ja, aber ist Englisch okay? Oder wenn jemand Einwände hat, dann kann ich auch äh, übersetzen. Aber dann versuchen wir weiter auf Englisch, okay? Gut, dann, um, welcome, Elvesio. We are very happy that you're here, that you came to present Querencia. Um, do you want to say anything before the film? Or we're going to be here afterwards to answer your questions and to talk about the film, but I don't know if you want to say something beforehand? Uh, just to thank you all for your presence, your presence here. Thank you. Thank Natasha too. Uh, it's my second time here in this film museum. But, uh, I think uh, cinema is getting hard and hard, uh, art cinema. So when I got in places like that, uh, we feel really, really at home. It was so nice to to meet Natasha again and, and, and to be in this beautiful uh, space again. Uh, I, usually I don't talk too much uh, before the film, so... Uh, We can talk uh, later uh, if you want and everything. Uh, I'm going to be here to answer or to talk, whatever. Okay? Uh, or should I say anything? Small? No? It's okay? All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Then you can be more surprised. <laughs> Enjoy the film. Thank you. Thank you, Shun. <laughs> Sim, muito obrigada de novo pelo filme e por estar aqui com a gente para conversar um pouco. Eu acho que é um filme que também, enfim, dá vontade de conversar sobre, tem muitos aspectos dele que... É, ou muitas dúvidas ou perguntas que eu mesma tive quando eu tive a sorte de ver o filme na, na Berlinale e... Uh, I'm speaking Portuguese, right? I just realized that. I'm sorry. Um, I said I was going to speak in English. I'll stick to English then. Um, Right. And I was um, just saying that I had the, the, the chance to watch this film by, at the uh, premiere at the Berlinale this year. And I was left with lots of uh, questions in my head. And I thought it was great that we have the chance now to have this talk with Alvesio here about the film. Um, perhaps we can start from the beginning, how this project started and what's your connection to these people or to this place? Because I understand you are from Minas Gerais, but uh, this is a very specific region of Minas Gerais as well. Like I think um, that you're depicting there and there are some aspects that are practically almost so in a documentary-like uh, fashion, uh, the way it's filmed. So um, you're really depicting a, it's a very specific place, I believe. So perhaps you could tell us a little bit about how you got to this place and to this people that are in the film. Um, uh, good night again. Thank you for, for staying. <laughs> Brave people. Um, uh, this, this is really, uh, uh, d d even that uh, they talk and talk more about this thing, about mixing uh, fiction and documentary and, and contemporary cinema. I, I, I really do that uh, sometimes in the same way, sometimes in a different way. Uh, basically what happened is uh, I like to shoot uh, this kind of uh, the people who has no voice in Brazil, people that are really uh, ignored by everyone. No, no one, uh, also my first feature, my, 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 short, my short films are also in this, uh, around this area in Brazil, it's the north of Minas Gerais, uh, close to Bahia, also called Sertão. Um, and uh, they have no voice for, for many reasons, uh, even that uh, some aspects that uh, people with no voice, uh, they have kinds of, of voice, they have uh, somewhere to, to, to fight for their rights. Uh, like uh, gay people, black people in Brazil, even that we are suffering a lot in this political moment, uh, but these people really never have, vo have, have voice. So what I do is, uh, first is I watch, uh, I know this, some of, uh, of these people already know before. Um, and the, the beginning is all documentary. I, I really get closer to them and I, I, I live alongside with them. I lived in that farm for five years. Uh, in my life, so uh, I just watch their uh, call it? everyday life. Everyday life, uh, and I then I start to write something uh, together with that. Uh, 
they don't know about that. They just know that I'm film. I'm a filmmaker. Uh, this turns a really, really strong relationship. I'll, I'll try to resume because it's a really big story. Uh, I also give a lot of classes for how to make these people interpret themselves as, as an actor. Uh, usually, people say that uh, it's something I I do more or less well. Uh, all of these are so to say non actors. They were I know, uh, non non actors. Yeah. yeah. They but they did follow some kind of workshops to prepare for the films that I do the workshop. You, yeah, you yes, did uh, for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, there are a lot of this. This could be a conversation for hours or days, huh? because then there is many uh, strategies or techniques I do. Some some I just imitate. Uh, some filmmakers like Abbas Kiarostami from from. From Iran, uh, the way uh, one of the techniques uh, he does, other ones I, I invent myself, and then it's it, you have to to mm, never give up. Huh? You insist, insist, insist in some way, and you uh, more or less uh, uh, change strategies sometimes. But then I start to write. Uh, then I, I we got really close friends. We, uh, we drink beers. I have uh, horses with them. Uh, uh, we go to some to fish together, or waterfalls, or have a beer, or whatever. It's normal life. Huh? And someday, uh, I just advise them that they, then, then when I have the money for 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 the only I only advise them when I have the money for everything. And then I said, oh, if you would like, we're gonna make a film. Uh, they got surprised, sure. First thing they all say they they don't know how to do that at all. I say that they. It's only my fault. Uh, I, I just get there. They had their, their normal lives, and suddenly I get there, and I start to to change more or less everything. Even that I respect a lot their their culture. I, I get involved with that, uh, and it's really nice because this it, it turns a friendship. I, I put everything uh, together, uh, and then it starts. Huh? Uh, anyway, the. So the, the beginning saw documentary and then it, it, it it's funny enough, it's coming more and more fiction. Uh, also the way to produce the film is, is more in the way of a fiction film than a documentary film. Uh, even that my teams are not so big and everything. Uh, and then that there are some things that some of the dialogues are really mine. Uh, some are really important sometimes, and I, I have to insist with them. Uh, sometimes also they they have some improvisation, so it's a it's a mix uh, between uh, more or less everything. I'm I'm talking it in a very resumed way uh, because it's really a little complex how how to do that it for for this long time. But they trust on me a lot, uh, and I also trust on them. Just one uh, funny aspect also, they never know uh, how much is they gonna receive if, if they are wage their money for the... And I have a kind, no, it's not a fight, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, exigent with my producers that I want to pay them as professional actors. Uh, the, the, in Brazil there is a list of uh, how a professional actor receive for TV, for theater, for cinema, and I, I pay them the same of of famous actors on TV, so but I only let them know about that uh, just one week before shooting, and then they got really really scared huh? and they got to come to me immediately. I'm more or less close and they, where's you? It's so much money. You never see that. I never. You deserve that. But if I don't know to do that, I have to give it back. Uh, yes, you have to give it back. No, no, no. Uh, it's yours. And like I said, it's all my fault. Uh, it's it's. Uh, uh, you're gonna do it perfectly because we practice for a long time, and uh, and then I, I do little uh, kind of uh, situations and, and jokes like that. For example, they are always afraid to see the camera for the first time, so I do some something really simple. Some of the exercises, some of the strategies are really simple. So it's about uh, two months before uh, that we are already doing uh, exercises, and someday I I. I I ask them to, to my house and I hide, I hide a camera. And then we just talk. And then I go to the edit room, I just edit a little bit, and then three days later I call them again. And I, you are ready, um, I do a play on my computer and the monitor, and then they, they see more or less, a, so you got uh, 
10 in our first camera test. And then it, it's more or less also disconstruction everything so they can be more relaxed. And uh, also it's a new universe that they are really accustomed to do stuff. So uh, what they do, so it's not so, so hard. Also the whole rodeo thing, that's also all like, how much of that is fiction or they really the uh, group of the uh, uh, the only thing I really don't know very much is about rodeo huh? I, I, I I have to 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 be honest uh, I'm not so fan of rodeo but uh, I also respect that and uh, I like this this world of cows and this this thing in the farm it, this is something I really like but it's true uh, the dream of uh, Marcelo and Kaiki and uh, Branco were to have a little company for rodeo and that was one of the surprises. They never had money for that and, and everything. That is not so much money, but uh, there's really small a company for Rodeos. And then someday I also come with good news. Hey, you're going to have two Rodeos, because we shot two Rodeos. It's one, but we shot two. You, go, you guys going to have two Rodeos for free. We're going to pay for that. So and they, what? Yes, man, just start to prepare it. You have to produce it good, because uh, then you're going to shoot all the Rodeos. Then they did, uh, and then they made up uh, so live fiction and everything comes then comes together and so they started the 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 company with that and the idea to use that because then they say why you don't you use that if you don't if you don't appreciate it uh, because it's the constriction of the character of Marcelo the, the main one he's a really shy uh, person uh, quiet uh, tender uh, delicate. It's rare. Uh, it's, it's it's he cannot do anything bad for a person or for a mosquito in his life. So I, I like this transform transformation of him when he comes to the rodeo uh, arena, and then the majority of the verses are from them. Just uh, you may know how which ones are mine. This is the most easier one to are the little politic ones. But I try to do it in the way that that they agree and they feel comfortable also to... I never force them to do something they don't want to do. So they agree with me with that. So I, I start to provo provoke them a, a little bit. Hey, you just talk about woman and blah, 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 and your microphone, you have a power for something else, no? And then I incentivate them to, to, to get along uh, alongside that, like that. Another inspiration was a, a kind of a, what the rappers sometimes do with the microphone, protesting, or, or even in Brazil, in some cultures in the Northwest, uh, there's the, 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 there is also this kind of, of, kind of protest. They, they, they make it with a kind of poetry and verses uh, with the microphone. So uh, it was, and in the end, they are really using that in their rodeos. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I think it's fascinating. Like this is yeah. very well built in the film, how this contrast between the, the time in the farm with the animals. I think it's also very amazing how you create this um, this connection they have with the animals, right? Because you really mm -hmm. depict them in the beginning. It's very clear the, that they have a strong personal connection. I think you put that very strongly in the film, which I think also helps us understand one of the many reasons why uh, the whole robbery thing was so strong for Marcelo, not only for the situation or um, what he, his, the, the trauma that he suffered in that situation, but I was uh, also the robbery is true. Huh? It happened yeah. really, and with Marcelo, he was uh, forced by the thieves to to to, to put the cattle together and everything. Uh, there are some things that are not. The, the, the thief, for example, is not. Is a, is a friend of us too. Is one of Marcelo's neighborhood. Uh, but I just stood because he has a kind of a bad face. And uh, <laughs> a I bad like guy his face, face a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's really good for mm. for this. And uh, so there's it's a mix, really mix of uh, everything. Yeah. I do have to ask you about about the title of the film, and that is uh, I know I don't want you to I, you can explain it if you want to, but I want to I want to ask you how do you explain it to an international audience because I, I was asked of, but what does it mean querencia and because I don't know as a Brazilian I, I kind of understand what it is but I can't expl I have trouble explaining it so I was wondering yeah, if you can help. Yeah, it's just a question, <laughs> huh? uh, really a question. They, they, my film is usually there's a lot of questions. Yeah, uh, this is a very good one. Um, Kerencia, first of all, is a beautiful word. Uh, it, it, I don't know if anyone here had, had, had have read uh, Hemingway. Uh, he used uh, this word in two books of him. 
Um, and uh, there is different meanings for cadence, and he never translated. He always uh, put cadencia. Uh, so, what is cadence? Cadencia is your place. You, you was born in Brazil. I, I, we are talking. Just knew her today. I. And I know that uh, she, she met uh, her uh, German husband in Canada. So what is your cadence? Cadence could be, it's your place. It's a place that could be your place that you were born, could be the place you love, could be the interior of Sao Paulo for you, could be a specific city when you, it was fantastic to know your husband. It's, it's your place, it's something, it's yours. It's inside here and you choose it. Uh, in the Portuguese also, it comes with the meaning of uh, that you wish, that you want something. Um, and finally, it's a slang uh, for the rodeos. Uh, it's like, como é que coxia em teatro, assim? Uh, backstage. Obrigado. It, it's uh, the backstage for the rodeo uh, guys, the, the narrators and the the, the ones that are uh, jumping in, in the bulls. It's called Querencia too. It's the where they they get uh, they they get uh, doing that and and talking. Oh, that guy was good. You nobody see that, but uh, it, it's kind of that too. So it it can have many uh, different meanings. I don't know how was the translation in German. Yeah, that's but the even the English one was hard to. I work with a very good uh, translator for Portuguese uh, English, and in the end, he was really convinced to to use Querencia, to not translate. But in the end, uh, world sales producers, everyone put homing. Mm. So the translation in English was was not bad too. Uh, home ink. I think the the English one Heimkehren um, also kind of works. It also means kind of going back home. Yeah, as yeah. could be. Yeah. It's just it doesn't have all the yeah. meanings that it has in Portuguese. Yeah. It would be impossible to yeah. do something like that. But I think it also also kind of works. Um, yeah. Um, what is your cadencia? Uh, my cadencia <laughs> is really, really, really that place. Huh? I really love that place. Uh, I, I I changed for Portugal uh, last year in November, just after our elections in Brazil. Every night. Everybody maybe imagines why. Uh, and I was uh, there um, about three weeks ago. After Brazil. one year, I was, I was a f short time there, which was really hard for me to... Maybe I, I, I've cried many times and I was with them. Uh, it's, I really love this place. Huh? Uh, maybe sometimes I'll, I'll be back, I don't know. <laughs> But Portugal for now is very good. <laughs> Did you show them the film? Um, For them? Yeah. I always do that. Yeah. Uh, and I, I also do the Brazilian premiere uh, in the village where I shoot uh, open air, a big party. Um, and they can, all the city is free. Uh, nobody pays to see that. Uh, usually it's very full and they got, uh, uh, they deserve it. Uh, it's, uh, it's their moment. Yep. So did, did they like it? What was their reaction? Yeah, to yeah. The film? That, uh, usually awesome. they like it a lot. Huh? Yeah. They, and they get surprised. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I, I keep watching them. Huh? Sometimes they com they comment things uh, after, and then the first impression they 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 get a little scared. They never think that they could uh, really interpret uh, it in a nice way, or, and then then they they really can. Yeah, they definitely did a good job. I yeah. just, I imagine that it's not necessarily the film itself. Okay, it's interesting because it's their story, it's them on the screen, but it's the film itself is very different from what they probably usually watch on TV. Mm -hmm. It's not the kind yeah. of film, in the tempo that it has a different. Uh, but I show to them so uh, also one of the many exercises I do is to to watch films together. We do some. Uh, So we, we did some uh, westerns, uh, old ones, some 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 narrative too, but some outer world films too. So I watched the, the the films I made before, also to them to have an idea, uh, yeah. and they used to like it. Yeah. It's impressive. Huh? This this even that I I'm very conscious that this this kind of narrative is not for all the audiences. And then, uh, if, if you see these people are more poor or with less instructions, but uh, for example, what the cinema I do, I make when I gonna, independent of they participate of, or that they are my actors or not, the, the level of comprehension is uh, spectacular. Uh, they, they see it and they discover things that we that are more accustomed to, to, 
to cinema audiences in general, they, they see it in a really different way, and then it's it's really really, really special. I never get nervous before. Uh, it can be in competition in Berlin, in Cannes, whatever. I never get nervous before uh, screening. It, it, the film is ready. What I can do, and uh, and then I got all my colleagues get so tense and that crazy thing. I never. But when I when I'm gonna show to them in their city open air, then I wow, I get so tense and. Mm -hmm. I get, uh, nobody see me, but I get behind the audience watching if they are paying attention and everything. <laughs> then I get, there. I, that's really important for me because otherwise it, it doesn't make sense huh, to to this work. We have questions here from the audience. There's already a question here. Please, the mic, please. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm very curious about uh, the participation of the unseen in this uh, film because as far as I know, it's now like uh, kind of being controlled. And for me, it's like very intimate, the atmosphere, and very political as well. The way they, of course, I think they would not talk about politics the way they did in the film. But it's for me, it's like Brazilian people really like, you know, when you, if you are somewhere, not in the cities, but I'm from Bahia, and when you go, somewhere you know like in a small town people are very different and i think you you showed it very very close and very intimate the way they're really good people and uh, considering the kind of um, um not hate but disappreciation como é que você diria menos preso Depreciation or depreciation, maybe depreciation of, yeah. of people themselves. Or how do you, how do you cope with that if you you know if you depend on the on the help of the unseen and it's being controlled, as far as I know, by our new president. I was lucky. It was before. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I had the fund uh, before, and I finished the film just before I go to Portugal. And they, they, they don't, can, they cannot, they don't have control. But she's right, huh? That's a lot of, uh, for example, uh, there is a specific fund in Brazil for films for uh, LGBT people, gay, uh, whatever. They, they are finishing everything. They are just tuff, tuff, cutting, cutting, cutting everything. And she's right. Probably if I have uh, someone in the government uh, watch that because one phrase of uh, two political things they say, oh no, this is communist film, bye bye. It's crazy in huh? Brazil, it's uh, really sad. But you said one word that's also very important for me in my work, for me, for the intimacy. I really need that intimacy in the bigger level because then that it's the only way that I can uh, take from them that it's a lot of trust too. That's why everything is really friendship. I really like these guys. Uh, I used to play with my 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 my, my friends. They are filmmakers, artists, actors, musicians, whatever. They all the artists. I said, man, you are bullshit. I I learn about life with these guys, uh, and it's in some way it's true. Huh? Uh, because artists, we are more or less uh, in a bubble that we are almost every time talking about the, the same things. And then it's really important to me to, it's another kind of life. Uh, I don't see too, I don't learn every, too much new things with my artist friends. And with these people, I, I, every day, I, at least I have one good lesson for life. It's incredible, yeah. Do you have any other questions from the audience? Yeah, here. It's not really a question, it's just a comment. Uh, I come from Rio and my, my, my grandfather used to live in Minas Gerais, in, uh, not uh, São João de Rey, mm -hmm. but on the countryside of São João de Rey. And uh, I used to go there as a child. So for me, there's something that it's very similar to how I used to feel about, about this place at that time. It's, and you, you picture that very well in your movie. It's this innocence. There is some kind, it's, it's the intimacy, I agree, but there's also something very innocent about the, yes. about the, the behavior of people, about the, the way they deal with the animals, the way they deal with the nature, the way they deal with each other. It's very, it's something that if you come from the city, you don't know it at all yeah. until you've been there. And then you go there and it's like you're in a totally different world. I feel part of that, really. And mm. then um, 
Uh, it's true. I have uh, horses with them. I have calls. I still, huh? I'm even living in Portugal. Sometimes I, oh, we're going to sell that uh, cow. Da, da, da. I said, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd never say no. Huh? Uh, they take care of them. Uh, I don't. Uh, but then it's it, it's it's really like that. Thank you. It, because it's really the, the, the intention. And uh, I think I only can have that because I'm really, uh, if you see me here, uh, talking in English, and if you see me there with them, you not would not recognize me at all, <laughs> because I'm I'm uh, I try to I don't I don't need to force anything on me. Huh? I just enjoy them really. Kaiki, the black one, is the one most most funny uh, person I ever met in my life. It was, in some way, it was so nice to work with him. But uh, in the editing, sometimes you have to hold it a little bit because he was getting bigger than than Marcelo, and then the the story was was for Marcelo in some way because it was true also because uh, I was already close to Marcelo before, and uh, wow. This trauma for him was crazy. I took him to my house. They don't show that in the film, sure. But he, this guy could not sleep for 15 days. And uh, we are just talking something. He'd heard uh, anything like that. He was so scared, jump on me. Uh, it's a big guy already and was crying. Uh, he, has, he doesn't have a father or mother, so he's a really alone person in, in life, like the film shows, more or less. The only thing, she has a sister in Rio that comes to, to visit him. And it's it's true. Funnily enough, she's an actress. <laughs> By uh, coincidence, it's not because. But she she's really his sister. They also their face are similar. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Have any other comments or questions or he, uh, there? And then <laughs> we're we're recording it. That's why I just I was it. wondering. Congratulations! The film is very beautiful. It's also so nice that is a. Uh, Contrapoint of, about what we live nowadays. They live just. Do they live like this really? With the radio and yeah, almost no mobiles like yes. you showed here. Or? Yes, there is no mobile sign in that farms. Oh, wonderful. Uh, the one Marcelo works. The one Kaiki works. They also they always have to to do it a little bit in the city. Even they they can do a normal callings, but uh, it never works so good. Eh? Uh, for the film, the then we, we had to put place, for the film, for the production <laughs> and for everything. Then we have to put, it was so hard, not so good one, but uh, we did it. Yes, in Brazil, still people with no, no communication at but all. This is a lovely part. It's also like a little bit novel vague somehow, and it's a slow everything. And my question is about um, how did you decide to make this uh, sound? Uh, this... Uh, is, I, f I felt all the time someone was going to die. I was preparing myself like, oh my God, they're going to be <laughs> blood now all the time, you know. I'm very careful with that? sound. Yeah, huh? yeah very. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. For me, sound and image, I put them uh, in the same level. Huh? So there's something I should not say. Maybe I sh I, it's, it's my fault. I, I ask sorry for you. I should put the volume a little bit up. It was to yeah, uh, that's my fault. Actually, it's so it's ridiculous because I, I, I work always with the same uh, sound editor for many, many. We are so close at friends, and I love him. But uh, he's como é que fala teimoso? Stubborn. So stubborn, because sometimes I like the sound more like that, and he puts always less. Always I put that, and and then he really treats me a little bit, and then it's it's a little normal war in every film, because he knows I when I get to the cinemas, and then I put the volume up, so it doesn't, uh, and then we always fight. But it sh I should uh, I've totally forgot that, and I come in the end. I, I sit uh, in the end. The last, uh, there was a little, yeah, but it's my fault. I should, I should do that. No? no? <laughs> Scooper. <laughs> Vaginal. I, I think <laughs> Sorry. I think it was more about the kind of sounds that you use because there's something kind of dramatic about it and the sus suspense also okay. that you create with sure, the sound. Sure, sure. I think it, yeah, if I can. Dramaturgic sound, you mean? Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think if I may uh, hint at a possible question, I think it also has a lot to do with uh, you working with Ogrivu. Yes. Because uh, I, I, re I, re I recognize their yeah. sound whenever I see a film and then, oh, okay, Ogrivu. Um, but sometimes they are sound. 
sound is too much. Huh? Mm -hmm. Then yeah. I with me it's always a uh, little bit like yeah. this. They're kind of yeah. experimental sometimes. Yeah, the two musicians yeah. from Belo Horizonte But that do experimental sound, yeah. Yeah. and I think it's nice. I think that especially in the end, like when you kind of go from a more experimental or to, from a that car boy is the sound of to, the uh, of the of those cars huh? it's yeah. it's really the sound it's crazy sound that that sound but it's true that that we didn't uh so i don't know if Kavuji i can boy. answer your yeah that that is uh but i love your interpretation huh? and my films are super open for for your interpretation <laughs> I don't. I don't close it with mine. Uh, then, then it, I, I did, and then it's uh, it's for you. So I also respect a lot the the opinion of of the audience. Uh, in Berlin, I have uh, so many different questions. Um, even one lady that uh, was accusing more or less what what is that the protection of the animals and blah blah blah. Sir, I gave her a great explanation. People was applauding me <laughs> a lot. <laughs> uh, in, in case somebody doesn't read Portuguese, in the end there was in the credits it said that the, no animal was harmed in the making of this film. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> Because I think, yeah, especially, I don't know, I don't know if in Brazil, yeah. but in Germany, I believe it's I know, I know. I, I uh, lived in German for one year. I, I really like also this country, the, the culture and everything. Uh, and I know how how German people are. When the film was going to premiere in Berlin, I said, wow, it's German and it's Berlin. I'm going to hear. <laughs> 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 but it was good. It was really good. It was just one uh, one question. But I usually I'm very natural to, to answer. I never went in a, in, a, in an aggressive way. No, no just uh, it's their life. It's, it's, it's like that. Huh? Um, I, I cannot go there and change it myself. Uh, it's a process that us, humanity, have to change it uh, in many ways and we need time for that. I, I know that's really urgent to, to, to do the, those changes. But it's also good to, to show that uh, in some places uh, like that, this change is really going to take a, a long time to get there because it, in this kind of person, it's impossible to... If you talk a guy like that, they don't eat meat. <laughs> He's gonna laugh, and uh, it's it doesn't work. It 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 has to be in another way, in the in another kind of of things, and I like that a lot because they they can love their cows, and they can they can also kill it for for eating, and it's really love. Huh? The, the scenes I see them with the with the cows and with it's it's really beautiful. Um, these things about humans and animals, I. That's why I also put them all together in a, in a street uh, in the end. Um, that was more or less to show in a different place, not not in the field. Um, then there is many, many little things like that. But sound is really important for me. Eh? So I really pay attention for this. Also this... Uh, Dramaturgic thing, and and this sound was a, a, a little more challenged than than others because besides this, you you said, and it's 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 true, and I, I really have this intention, but sometimes also have rodeo with us those great musics, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then uh, yes, and then it's explosion of things, and I, I like that mix. This is really uh, something I also like in Brazil. Uh, you can have uh, some really poor roots at the same time people mix it with uh, modern stuff and uh, wow this is Rodeo is totally a North American uh, culture from from USA and they really it's funny for example the the helmet they use it's from uh, American football uh, yeah so the, it's all, every time mixing mixing and mixing the stuff and I, I like that uh, in some way in Brazil it's crazy Yeah, it shows a lot about us. <laughs> yeah, I think was uh, I was looking into the the credits of the film as well, and I noticed that like your cameraman is uh, not Brazilian, your editor is not Brazilian. Yeah. So there's a lot of international. I mean, not only because it was a co-production, so you got funding, international funding that is also very common in Brazilian films. But you also had a international team working with you, mm -hmm. and I was thinking particularly the position of the director of photography. Um, how was it this connection with him? Was he also as close to the people you were filming or was that how was that mediated or no, what, how much that did I choose. he bring to the that I choose huh? mm -hmm. uh, for, for example uh, the, not this film but the other one I had uh, two cases uh, one I, I need to put a, a French 
technique in the film, but uh, in, in the end I, I got it. I uh, have an explanation to the French CNC, the institution and everything. And another one in Spain, uh, the other film, they, they asked, what is dubla? And to dub a film. To dub? Yeah, the, yeah. In, in Spanish. And the, the, the main characters was two ladies uh, in the height of more, too much... Uh, far away than this thing and they, they they speak a kind of dialect and they were 87 and 85 years old it was impossible to, to yep. dub that and then sometimes I know Arauco uh, he's a friend of, of mine from a long time uh, my uh, the other photographer that work he get tired of cinema uh, like I, I, I did it sometimes too huh? and then he was uh, Three years without working with that, now he's working again. And um, I decided to, to to edit in Portugal because I also was already living there. Uh, and I really, uh, my meeting with that guy was really, really nice. The Telmo Churo, ne? Churo. Yeah. Yeah. Also uh, works with Miguel Gomez. Yes, and yes. Yeah. Oh, another question here. Well, the last question uh, I would like to ask is about the, f the end of the film like when they go to the street with the calls and they are carrying the I put the teeth again is that? no Libertas que será também it's the same in Confidencia Mineira isn't it? it's it's the flag of Minas Gerais and I put the teeth with that yeah the point uh, is I was thinking about Tiradentes and I was thinking well in which to which point can you say that there's a kind of tradition of revolution <laughs> in the air? I don't know? think so. I that just put not, the flag to just yeah. put the flag. Yeah. Actually, I was yeah. uh, really fit, a little actually. mad with the government of Minas Gerais, and then I put the teeth uh, of the flag. It was a but symbology just for me, but uh, sure, it's a question. But a lot of people ask me that uh, there's something wrong with the film because the, the thief is under arrest, and then I put him. In the parade in the end there's a uh, one of the questions I, I i hear more for for audience for me the film there is prologue prologue uh, prologue uh, like prologue. in the beginning the guy is uh, doing some practice for a day and there's an epilogue uh, this for me is an epilogue uh, every, every everything uh, they are in a different space in a little city the cows and the men and the cars and everything really together. So for me, it's, it's like the, the film had ended there already. So I, even the, the, the guy was under arrest, I want to put really everybody, everybody together. It's hard to see, but it's too fast. Even the, his sister, that uh, the sister of Marcelo that he lives in Rio de Janeiro is there. So everybody's there. I, I even put the teeth like this, looking to the camera. I would not uh, do something, uh, but uh, yes, it's a question, and I really like those kinds of questions. I don't like only questions that uh, people are saying nice things about your work. Sometimes, my producer says that uh, I work better when I put when I'm pushed against the, against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, it's very beautiful the scene where he's supposed to ident identify the, the thief, and it's like it's quite weird because he doesn't he doesn't seem to want to say that yeah. he was the one and the other one is looking like you know helpless to this <laughs> to but this audience is audience and really each people has a feeling uh, and i like that a lot in cinema this is one of my favorite uh, things in cinema people has um, different ways to feel and to understand it to whatever no, but you, you do some really you get more say, more word about understanding everything yeah you, you let him know you let him say I didn't know yeah. it was your farm yeah. so it's like a family you know you, you cannot yeah. point at your brother in yeah. a way so that's that's very beautiful I think also yeah. <laughs> do we have any other questions from the audience? Um, if not, I will have one last question, um, and um, perhaps coming out of the film a little bit, but uh, when you presented the film at the Berlinale in February, the, you said something before the film about Lula Livre, and that was the whole moment that it was back in February. Now we are at the end of November, so much has happened, and particularly less than two weeks ago, Lula was set free. 
it doesn't mean that he's uh, not being persecuted anymore, etc. But uh, how did that uh, affect you? Because it seems that it's an important topic for you as well in a political sense. And um, you mentioned you were in Brazil recently, but it was before Lula's um, uh, release, I believe. Um, how are you feeling about this? Is there some kind of hope in the air or... Um, what kind of um, yeah? What or what is the next it's hard fight? To say. Sure, I'm <laughs> happy uh, uh, about Lula. Uh, that that time I was always defend him, and with the time it's for the world is getting more and more clear that uh, it's a crazy absurd uh, what they they did with this guy. Uh, It's crazy. There is. I was talking also with Natasha. Uh, there is many. It's also a subject for we we can talk yeah. forever. <laughs> Uh, but I think that maybe not. No, I don't. I don't felt what I really saw in Brazil three weeks ago. It's the quantity of people living in the streets. That's that's crazy. It's five times, six times more than the usual. Uh, I don't know really a hope, but uh, at least people are starting to wake up. Not uh, he has uh, Bolsonaro has kind of fifty percent of the population that is really with him. Uh, one curious thing about when I defend Lula in Berlin, it was uh, people in internet publish it a lot. Uh, uh, left uh, media in Brazil, right media. I, I was a victim of fake news too, because uh, some friend of mine uh, sent to me uh, some uh, site from Paraná, it's the Sergio Moro judge uh, state. They put my image and everything. Uh, Brazilian director is humiliated by the German audience in the, uh, 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 in the Berlinale Film Festival. Uh, yes, and they, uh, and they shared, they edit the sound, and when I was doing the, the speech, Uh, sure, the Germans are not so involved with that, but there was applause, it was good, the Brazilians was rah, rah, rah. but nobody says woo, or, and they, they, they edit the sound, woo, so I was also a victim of fake news of, of these people too. Huh? <laughs> and it's there, if you find it, you can find it in YouTube. You didn't sue them or anything? <laughs> I think so, I, I don't know if it's still there, but I think so. It's Portal do Paraná, something like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, but, and then, uh, and then uh, the not only resistance, but uh, resilience is a good uh, yeah. resilience. Is right in English? Yeah, yeah. It's a good word for yeah. for us now. Uh, yeah. and but I have mean? a hope. I think mm -hmm. you too. I, I don't have a hope. I, I'm sure that's gonna change. It, it it's so absurd, so crazy that it 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 cannot be forever. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's gonna be clear. Yeah. And as far as uh, filmmaking is concerned, which we already talked about Ancini and all the problems with the government, um, what is your perspective yet now for the for filmmaking or for or what are your <laughs> next uh, projects or what you're thinking of? Sorry to say that, but the uh, next feature film is gonna. I used to take a long time huh, to to do my, this. I took se seven years. The 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 first one I took eight years, but the next one it's a Portuguese film. <laughs> It's in Alentejo, in South, also with, uh, I'm living there now. Uh, funnily enough, also is a little village called Cuba. Uh, Alentejo is the most poor uh, part of Portugal and, and uh, West Europe too. Uh, and I'm already finding my Marcelo's, my Bastu there. It's a really, it's a really nice time there, really enjoying that. But uh, probably it's uh, going to be a, it's going to be different. Uh, it's two guys. Uh, it's a little political film too. It's an imaginary war between two old guys. Uh, one is a, it's, it's true. It's an ex uh, guerrilheiro. How to say that? Uh, Guerrilla fighter. Yes, uh, was involved uh, against the dictatorship uh, of Salazar in Portugal and blah blah blah. And he still dreams a lot. This guy, and the other one is uh, it, 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 it's a Salazarist. Uh, he missed Salazar and he thinks Salazar was, was super fine. And he, he, he voted in the little Bolsonaro of Portugal now. And then they, the, the distance. Uh, it's long story. Then then you're gonna see. But uh, it's an imaginary war, and they, they, it's more with the words than, than, than with guns. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to look forward to seeing that in a couple of years. Hope you come back to present us the film in that when it's ready. Thank a you so place. much for being Thank here and too. talking to us. Thanks, everybody, Thank for coming. Muito obrigada. Obrigada.